With an increased population and economic growth in the city of Brantford, there is more of a demand on the water supply system. Why build bigger treatment plants at a cost of the taxpayer when there are many simple ways that help us to save water and reduce waste without the bill? The program itself um, really got started in 2003, uh, following a period of drought actually, um, and uh, we realized that we needed to have a water waste program because we just couldn't continue taking water out of the, the river at the rate we, we were with uh, this kind of climate change coming on. And, uh, and the, the first thing we needed to address was uh, our peak water flows in the summertime because that's when we draw the most water out. Uh, so we instituted a uh, council passed a water conservation bylaw that restricts uh, watering in the summer months, June, July and August. Um, and therefore residents can water a maximum of four hours every other day. Did you know that Brantford has seven gardens around the city with hundreds of plants on display, all chosen for their ability to thrive during our typical dry summer months with little supplemental watering? These gardens show that you do not have to sacrifice beauty to have a water-friendly outdoor space. It started, started in the fall of 2006 and it started in partnership with the Brantford Garden Club and the Brandlin Optimists who rent the, they lease the Tranquility Hall where the, where the, the site of the garden. Um, and we've, we've received quite a bit of help from the Brantford Garden Club in helping with the, um, the planting and maintenance of the garden and they have been put on, on a design also. Bringing it up to present, we've now, uh, we're maxed out. We have seven different demonstrations in there now and um, not for all of them yet, but we have about brochures to support each garden that are available to residents. And in those brochures, it details um, the types of plant species. It actually shows the design layout where we put the plants. So initiatives such as this really old house goes green are great. We like to encourage things like this in everybody's homes. Um, you know, take advantage of the city's uh, resources. We have a lot to offer. Um, residents may not be fully aware of what we have that's that's free to them. We have water saving devices that we give out uh, anytime you see a, one of our displays, usually set up throughout the summer months. Um, and lots of information on our website at brantford.ca. Using a rain barrel to collect water is a cheap and simple way to water your garden and lawn for free. And by attaching a soaker hose, you can keep your plants watered without tapping into the city water supply. Rain barrel program, um, that was begun back in 2004 and has steadily grown in popularity since. The last three years, we've sold over a thousand barrels um, at each sale. Um, I think it was almost 1500 the last one. And because we, we, we sell them, um, we get them at dealer cost and then further rebate them. Um, and they're for you know, the benefit of our residents in hopes that they will um, start using this sort of uh, source of water outdoors instead of uh, the tap water that we, we spent so much money on to clean it to make it safe to drink instead of throwing it on your lawn, which um, sometimes can't be avoided. But, so that's one great thing we have going also. We're seeing as our population increases every year, um, the water consumption in the city is going down.